Hey, the other factor fans, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to a new feature that we're bringing to Fabric Data Factory that will allow your Fabric notebook runs to execute in a highly concurrent, highly parallelized, very fast manner within your Fabric Data Factory pipelines. So now when you execute a notebook activity from your pipeline, you're going to have the option to leverage high concurrency within your Spark cluster. This is a very easy option to enable and it will be an option that you can use for your notebook activities. So before I do show you how to set this up in your pipeline, the first thing I want you to know is that you need to turn on the concurrency model uh, for Spark in Fabric from your workspace. So I'm going to go to my workspace and I will click on workspace settings. Over here where you see data engineering, data science, essentially where your Spark settings are going to be found. You can click on high concurrency and then you can enable high concurrency for notebook and down here is high concurrency for pipeline running multiple notebooks. So in my example on my pipeline, when I go back to my pipeline, you will see that what I've done is I've set up an environment where I have these two notebook runs that are actually connected. So these are going to run in sequence, but this notebook run is hanging off by itself. So this is going to run in parallel once this one kicks off and also in parallel because it's not connected by a sequential line is the for each activity that's going to also run multiple notebooks using a for each of a range that is set from one to four. So for each one of those iterations, I'm going to run another notebook. So when I run this using just the default settings of a notebook, which is available under here under advanced, there will be a new parameter that I can use to, to set the name of the session. So in the session tag, I can call this session my session. So now I've established a session that's called my session. If I were to enter the same tag value, which is string value, my session into any of the additional notebook activities on my pipeline, I will then be able to reuse that same existing Spark session without needing to have to face the startup time, the cold startup time of a new session from my Spark cluster. So after I've run this pipeline, if you go into monitor, you will then see the results of the different notebook runs that I've had. And you can see that they ran concurrently at the same time. And so you can verify that by clicking into each of the sessions. Let me click on the first one in the list. And what you'll see is that the session associated with that notebook will be the same as all of the other notebooks that use that same session tag. So this is using high concurrency and this is the GUID associated with that session. So I'll go back out to my main monitoring view now and I'll click on the second notebook run. And this is a different notebook that used the same session tag. You see that's reusing the same session GUID and executed starting at the same time. Okay, so let me switch my monitoring view now to the pipeline that I ran. And when you go into the details of the detailed monitoring for the pipeline, you can see just, you can see just how effective using that option of setting the session tag parameter actually is. In that the start time of notebook one and notebook two, and then the for each, we're all essentially at the exact same time. And they all completed, and obviously these are really simple, just test demo notebooks, but the execution of them starting at the same time. The last one ran in sequence because that was attached on the success of the first notebook run. So that's a quick look at the session tag uh, that you can use in your Fabric Data Factory pipelines when you're executing a notebook and want to use high concurrency. Thanks for watching.